Hello everyone, today we're going to make beautiful black and white monoprints and we're going to use a gel plate to print them and at the end of the video I'll show you all the monoprints I made today and let you know which one is my favorite okay so let's start now basically all we need is a gel plate the images we're going to transfer and the paint and I'm only going to use a black and a white paint very minimalistic <laughs> the photos I'm going to transfer today are printed with my laser printer on standard copy paper I will link to all the supplies I'm using, including my printer, in the description below. I'm not sure you can tell, but most of these are photos I took in Los Angeles, Beverly Hills and Hollywood. I feel like I don't often use my local photos, <laughs> but I will today. I applied the paint to the gel plate and I spread it using a brayer. The first photo I'm going to use, I took outside Universal Studios. I placed it face down onto the paint. And I got a really good transfer here. So now I let it dry a little before I continue. I apply a small dab of white paint on top of my transfer. And I spread it evenly. So today I want to try something new with you watching me and I'm just making random marks in the white paint. Let's see what happens if it's uh, going to show in the final monoprint. Now I'm placing the receiving paper over the transfer and I'm going to try and pull the image onto the paper. When it's sticky like this, you know it's working. <laughs> Very nice. And I like that the marks I made in the white paint added a nice grungy effect. I just love black and white photography. I used to print in the dark room and there's just nothing that feels quite the same. But making black and white monoprints this way is quite special too. This is Beverly Hills City Hall. I took the picture from an office window of the boring job I had once. And if you also want to learn how to gel print your own photos, check out my online classes. You will learn how to make beautiful monoprints using your own photos. So yeah, if you're interested, there are links to the online classes below this video. Next photo, I took it in Hollywood and the street sign here says Vine Street. I really like the way it came out. I can actually read the street sign. And I love the way the borders turned out.
This one is a photo from Sanctuary City. I wonder if this bridge is still there. I really like this one because it came out so clear but I think this one is my very favorite one what about you let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite one Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you can like and share this video. It will help my channel grow so I can make more videos like this. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.